Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of my Cities in Motion 2 video series. In this episode, I'll be playing the second mission in the campaign. It's called Jealousy, and it's a continuation on my first mission. So, I'll, uh, once again, I'll be playing in expert difficulty level for all these missions, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here we are back in Central City. Uh, the one thing I forgot about this game is that when you play through the campaign, uh, all the stuff that you build in the previous missions uh, persists if the next mission is in the same city. So we're back in Central City, and the, t the transit system that I built in the first mission is still here. We got the three tram lines, my two trolley lines here. So yeah, great. I, I don't have to rebuild everything again. Um, you do ha I think you do have to rebuild things when you move on to another city. That's fine, it's a new city. Uh, probably makes sense anyway. So, um, yep, um, I'm kind of curious why this uh, scenario is named Jealousy, so I'm actually going to go over here and talk to Mayor Stephanie and see what's up. And she says, Some citizens are jealous because they don't have as good connections as those who live in another part of the city. That's why I think coverage should be one of your main concerns. Uh, so pretty challenging coverage goal here. Instead of 15%, she wants 35% coverage. And uh, it looks like we're about halfway done there anyway. Um, but yeah, she has a point. Uh, we still have quite a few parts of the city that uh, have no transit coverage at all. Particularly this whole island here where the, I guess the large business district is. So yeah, definitely lots of room left for uh, expansion and more lines. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough money, I think, to build any more lines. And if you remember from my last episode, I've already taken out two uh, loans totaling about uh, $80,000 right there. And if I take any more loans at this point, I think I'll be definitely starting to lose money. So I'm not going to push that. Um, I, I don't know how much income this second trolley line that uh, I built here is actually taking in. So not going to take a risk, but I'd still have $17,000 left, and what I was thinking of doing is, uh, oh, I'll, I'm going to build some extra trams on these really busy lines, particularly tram, tram lines 2 and 3, uh, since they're my most profitable ones and tend to overcrowd quite a bit. So I'm going to look up uh, line 3 here. Its depot is over here. It, it's running about 21 trams. Um, at the moment, if I look at open up its schedule, uh, it's running trams every 50 minutes. Um, but I think I want to try to increase that frequency a bit. So maybe I should add it, maybe another one to the morning rush, perhaps, or maybe just make it in general. And to me, I think doing it in general would probably, probably give the best benefit here. So I'm gonna let's try 40 minutes, and then we'll see if push OK here. Looks like you'll want five more trams to uh, service that, so I will go to my depot here. Build another five trams. Gotta make sure I use the right one. I don't want a mix of trams here, so the big Livingstone Classical with the uh, 40 seats. Buy five more trams there. I'll take $8,000 out, so that's good. Okay, so that's tram line three. Let's go to tram line two. Um, I'm ignoring tram line one because that one's. I don't think adding more tram is going to actually help it. Maybe even reducing the number of trams might be actually more. might save me some maintenance costs, so I might do that. Um, but uh, let's see, tram line two. Uh, every hour there's one tram. Let's see what happens if I. Oh, maybe I should go find the depot here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's wait, schedule. Let's try 50 minutes. Three more trams. I can probably afford that. So go in here. Find three more trams. Okay, that gives me yeah four thousand uh, dollars. I think that's enough for now. So hopefully those extra trams will provide me better income and better customer satisfaction, which will in turn attract more customers and hopefully uh, get more income. It's uh, kind of like one of those uh, self. Uh, self product I don't know what you call it. Those loops where it just, you know, generates more income. My brain is not working today, sorry. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, uh, that's all I actually want to do. What, I, what I'm going to do now is actually run this game at full speed, like full triple speed here, and actually wait for these loans to um, 
get paid off. Uh, it's going to take a long while, so I'm going to cut off the video right now, and hopefully by the time we get back, maybe I'll be making some profit, and then I can take another loan, and then we can start expanding this system. So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I got a little bit bored waiting for the loans to run out. Uh, even at triple speed, it takes quite a while for a week to go by in-game. So what I've done is I've taken uh, yet another uh, loan, a third loan, at an extremely bad interest rate, I should uh, say, at 58%. And what I've done with that money is make a new tram line on the western side of the map here, as you can see there. Um, it's not doing too badly. It's, it is making a small profit. It's not as good as tram line 3, but it's pretty modest. Uh, the problem though is I think this line might have been a mistake. Um, it did actually, I think, damage my reputation. Uh, before, it, my reputation was around 60% range. Now it's actually below 50%. And my suspicion is what has happened is that uh, there are more unhappy passengers. And uh, all these passengers that are coming from this western part of the map have only one way to get to the rest of the train system. And that is this uh, trolley line 2 here, right down here. So. What you'll see here is, uh, if I speed up the game a bit, tra the passengers from the uh, north there are going to get off at this tr tram stop, and then they all pile out, like you see there, and then they go wait at the trolley stop right over here. Um, unfortunately, because trolleys are smaller than trams, and I'm not uh, running the trolleys as often, uh, this just ends up becoming a big mess of unhappy passengers and yeah, you can see that one's totally over full but there's still about oh 70 people waiting at that stop so not a good situation so what I'm thinking of doing is to alleviate this is to create a another tram line uh, going across to this neighborhood right here uh, we don't have any lines here, and we want I want to actually connect up with the tram line 3 that goes around here. So, um, we are getting to close to the point of building a metro, but I don't want to do that quite yet. I think I'll start building metros once I've got paid off all my loans. I do want to pay off my loans. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take out $50,000 for 6 weeks, and then by when the 6 weeks are up, uh, then I can start building metros. I don't want to keep uh, going this cycle of de debt. And I think I can afford this uh, fourth loan. It's uh, it's pretty expensive, uh, $8,000 per week and an uh, interest rate of 50%. But I'm actually still doing pretty well. If I look at my expenses, uh, I'm making more than $8,000 per week. So, yep, I'm going to take another risk. I'm going to build another line here. And uh, I'll, we'll see what happens. Alrighty, so as you can see, I've built out my new tram line here, going from the west to the east here. And uh, I've also reorganized some of my trolley lines, um, but I'll get to that in a minute. The whole reason why I've cut off the video here is actually, um, I'm actually about to complete the mission. As you can see, I'm at 97% completion out of my 35% coverage goal. So I expect at any moment now, Mayor Stephanie's going to pop up and uh, give me her congratulations. So while we're waiting for that, I'll just show you some of the lines here. Uh, let's start off with the new tram line. Five. Oh, <laughs> just when I was about to talk about something else, she pops up. Okay, so that's great. Everyone is so pleased. But, um, I'm not really pleased. I actually want to keep doing stuff in this mission. There are quite a few things I'd like to do. So, I cannot... The uh, thing is, I can't push the OK button here because that'll bring me back to the main screen. They don't have a keep playing button, which is a kind of annoying feature of this game. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Mayor Stephanie over to the corner here. Uh, sorry, Mayor. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully I won't accidentally push that OK button and cause my recording to be all wasted. Anyway, back to tram line 5. So, tram line 5 uh, goes around a loop here, connecting up with tram line 4. And then it goes down eastward, down this corridor. Uh, goes around another loop, uh, meeting up with tram line 3. And then goes back west down this corridor. Now, in terms of how much money it's making, it's doing very well. Uh, if I bring up both tram line 5 and 3, you'll see that the uh, income and expenses uh, between tram line 3 and 5 are 
pretty much comparable. They're making three times as much uh, as their uh, incurring expenses, so that's great. I'm really pleased with that. Um, so yep, yeah, those are all the trams. Uh, next up, uh, let's talk about these trolley lines. I'll go through them one by one. Uh, you'll remember uh, trolley line one. Uh, this guy has not changed at all. I didn't touch him at all. He's still uh, serving this southern industrial district here. Uh, what I did change was line two. Uh, you'll notice now that it used before it used to go across this whole thing, but I think it was just I think that's a way too long line um, for that for trolleys. I think uh, it was just all the trolleys were just you know, getting hammered with uh, overcrowding and that sort of stuff. So what I've done is uh, I've made it uh, only serve the western industrial district over here. And I've made it so that it short turns uh, at this intersection. It used to go right here, but it just goes uh, straight at northward and then goes back to the west. Um, the reason I made it go north instead of going off this street here is that uh, there was actually a little hole here where there wasn't actually any coverage uh, uh, for um, the people here. So I thought, hey, let's, um, let's increase coverage and just go straight up there. So that's line two. Now the rest what about the other half, the eastern part, the, the old line 2? That's covered by line 3. You can see there. And it goes around this loop here, going up along here. And then, yeah, it's basically the same old route, just uh, without going all the way to the western district there. And finally, uh, I decided to connect up, uh, going from this area here, going up to the north, and connect up with my new tram line. So this is trolley line four. It goes up the street here, goes around uh, that big hotel, goes down here, and then goes around the same loop. So as you'll probably notice, uh, if I show you all the lines, uh, trolley lines here, all of them go in this uh, loop around here. Um, that's intentional. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the best way of doing things because what I've noticed here, and you can't really see it right now, maybe if I speed up the game you'll see it, but the, because now I have all these same trolley lines going up there, they tend to accumulate and uh, cause a little traffic jam on their, on their own. So I might be trying to fix that a bit later, but I, I'll wait till that actually shows up so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's all the trolley lines. Now, uh, what I now for mission three, let's go look at the loans. Um, <laughs> what I did was I actually took out two more loans. I, I know I'm just being really bad here. The fifth loan was uh, at a really really bad interest rate, 83 percent. So, but the thing is, even with these loans here, um, I'm making I'm still making a profit. Like I'm like. I am paying $27,000 in terms of interest payments, or, or, or just repay, repaying these loans. Um, if I didn't have those loans there, I'd be making, you know, uh, on top of this 11000 maybe about $30,000, 40000 there. So, yeah, definitely want to pay off those loans before I start the mission. So that's what I'm going to do. Like, uh, before the next episode, I'm going to let this mission run as much as I can. Let those loans run out, and then by the time we start the new mission, we can I should be able to easily build, start building metros, and uh, do maybe expanding over to this island over there. Um, but uh, for now, let's uh, do some fun things. Uh, let's, what, what I was going to actually do is actually build a, yet another tram line. I'm going to take another loan. I have uh, 140 bucks in my pocket right now. So now this tram line, what I Tram line 3 is getting hammered, like it's getting overcrowded so much. I'm thinking maybe let's expand over in this area. There's a little island here. Um, you know, uh, maybe I'll maybe, maybe connect to this peninsula here and this uh, suburb area here. What I'm thinking is I'm going to make another tram line that's also going to go around a loop like this, but instead it's going to hook off and go over to the suburbs and then connect and loop around here as well. So it's going to be an, an alternate route to tram line 3 and hopefully you know it won't take up ridership. Well that's the point. I want, it to, I want it to take off ridership so it doesn't become so overcrowded. Uh, I should also note, um, I'll move Stephanie over here, uh, my reputation is actually still not doing too well. Um, particularly those pensioners there. You notice that they are at 30, uh, 
they, they, their approval rating of me is at 36%, so... Uh, they must... Old ladies and old men don't like me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so... The, the goal here, uh, what I'm trying to do is going trying to reduce overcrowding, and the way to do that is just simply to build more lines. Or build metros, but I can't build metros right now because I still have to wait for these loans. I'll probably build metros in the next mission, so... That's what I'll do. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm going to... Let's take a look. I have, I'm have i making $10,000, so let's make a, another loan. I want to pay this off also in five weeks, so everything will get paid off at the same time. Let's see how far I can get without breaking the bank. 50000 That's. Sh I think that should be enough, so I'm going to do that. Okay. And let's start building a tram track. So I'm going to have it, so th there's the loop there, I'm going to make it turn to the right here. Select that. And I think I'll make, uh, actually I'll, I'll do, I'll make the trams coming in also share the same road. Cause I don't, there's only two roads going up there, and that road is actually a big highway, I don't think I'm going to go all the way down there, so I will just... Um, both sides here. Well, why that's not oh, okay. I guess I can only drag in the direction that I want to go so that. okay so now it'll all go all the way to these suburbs here I'm going to right here should I drag in the right direction one thing I noticed about funny about trams is you want to try to make it on the right hand the mo sorry the right hand most side of the street but they can actually violate the road rules you see the two left hand lanes but this is a right turn lane so yeah it's a great thing about trams i guess i guess it's also the same for buses too i guess so i've whoa that's a ooh, that's pretty long so it's already gone this highway i'm not going to go uh, go into the detail about this like I'm going to stay on the highway. Um, let's see what I want to do. I probably want to, I'm going to make it turn right here. Cross that little off, on ramp, off ramp thing there. Turn left here. Just going to visit. Not going to be a, not going to do too much on that part there. Okay, this is interesting. Now I have to figure out how to get onto that tram loop that's over there. I think I'm going to do is going to go down south and then do a really wacky left turn and then come back up here. There we go. So it's going to go around, around this way, and then. Hmm. I'm think about this. I guess I could make it go all. Yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe. There's actually a tunnel down here didn't notice that I could actually just go here and just go straight left and then out back on the highway again but uh, I want to yeah I think I will want to actually make it share the same part as the uh, as that other line over there so I'm going to let it go it's gonna go all the way around here and then it's going to left turn here yeah, it's a pretty complicated intersection. Tram tracks, and then, yeah, just go back out on... Oh, wait, no. That's not what I want to do. Oops. Blow some of these up. Okay, actually, what I wanted to do is actually... No, right here. Because I don't want it to go back up to that island. I actually just wanted to go straight across here. That That's the solution, so... My bad there. Now some people might be wondering, oh, you know, that's not very convenient. Like, what if the person wants to go back up, like, from this area to up to here? But what they can do, I've noticed, is, because I've done it in loops uh, for most of my lines, is that when they can just go, they take the tram over here, get off, and then take, and then transfer over to the same tram going in the other direction, right over here. So, as long as I make my stops close enough, then I think that should be doable. 
Oh, and I think I'm already done all my tracks, so that's good. Let's start building some stops. Let's put stop here. Okay, so let's see what I can do here. Let's build a stop there. Maybe there? I don't know. It's not much difference. There, perhaps? Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What should I do here? Let's do one. Let's do one there. Then turning right. Get some coverage. Let's put one there. And then one there. Okay. Not entirely sure how. That's a highway, so. Well, now, yeah, there is a sidewalk there, so. Not sure how this doesn't actually climb up there. I guess there's some. Hidden stairs I don't know about. Put one there. Put one there. Okay, now we're in the district here. I'm gonna put one here. It's probably gonna go around anyway, so I'll put one more there. Okay, so it goes around on the same stops and then it exits this the loop here. So I will one there. Okay. Then there, and then maybe one there. I think that works. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll find out in a moment. Okay. So that's that. Oh, and then I'm gonna put one more here. Should we get another one? Uh, let's put another. One. That's fine. Okay, and then another one in this direction. Let's see here. Let's do that. And oh. I wonder if I should be putting one here. I have to modify all the tram lines to stop there, so it might be a bit of a pain. Maybe not. I, I'll I'll just leave it like that. Okay, let's uh oh, let's put a depot somewhere. Hmm. I'll make sure I Yep, right depot. I'm trying to find a good spot for it. I guess it has to be in this open area here, so I will make it hmm, there perhaps. Okay, there. Um I know I haven't been doing this properly, but I know that there's a way to um make a bus only enter the depot uh, when it needs servicing but um, you know I might it might as well go into the depot so what I've been doing is basically pastures will always the route will always go back to the depot then what will happen is they all just get off this stop and then they just walk over to that stop which I think it might be making them unhappy but mm, I don't know maybe I'll fix it maybe I'll actually do it properly in the next the next mission. So I apologize if you've probably noticed that. Um, I am a noob at this game, so I'll have to take it. Take what you, take what I what you got. Okay, so depot will go around there. Whoops. Oh yeah, I forgot my tram tracks. Let's build those. Okay. Now there we go. Go around here. Let's, let's zoom out here. Probably really easy to do it like this. Okay. Around here. I guess I stop there, right? Yep. Around this way. Around this corridor. It's kind of a bit difficult to tell whether what's a stop and what's a trolley. I just gotta. I click the right thing. Did I go too far? Yes, I did. Let's go back a bit. Take a left there. Whoops. Push my add stop button. Okay. On its way back out. Whoops. Seemed about too far there. Okay. It's gonna go all the way around back here. Now we're gonna start doing the loop. The loop. All the other trams are doing it, so 
Oh, why, why isn't that working? Oh, I forgot to connect this up. Let's do that. Okay. Oops. I have to add stop here. And then I just have to click to all these stops down. Try to really quickly. Okay. And left turn here. A lot of unhappy pastors there. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, this new line will alleviate some of those pressures on tram line three there. And finally, back at depot. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my schedule. Let's try. How much money do I have? Twenty-eight thousand. Let's see what I get with forty-five. Every forty-five minutes. I haven't really played around with the rush. I've always just said to like an, just one extra bus. Um, maybe I should probably use that a bit more effectively. Weekends every hour. Cause I suspect this is going to be a pretty popular route. I hope. It does connect to new areas. Okay, I could have copied from the other line, but I like pushing buttons. Okay, so okay there, twenty-four trams. Maybe I should. A little bit more concerned. Let's try every hour. Just like weekends. Okay, now let's buy some vehicles. The Livingston Classical. So 10 is 16,000. And I need 19. 19. Yep, I can afford. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta be careful I don't select the wrong. Oh, I can't afford it. 9, 8, 12, 8,000. Uh, just yeah, I'm actually too short here. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll go back and adjust my schedule. One ten, perhaps. That work. Yeah. Okay. So every one hour and ten ten minutes, uh, I'll try to improve that later. Okay. So there's my new tram line. I'm going to invisible or hide hide its route there and then speed things up so I get an idea whether it's actually being profitable or not. I, I think it will help a little bit. Um, okay, so there's my new tram line. What else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, back to here. Uh, yeah, there's still people transferring here, but it's not as much anymore. It looks like everyone else is actually transferring uh, using the new tram line. Uh, if I can find where that part is. Oh yeah, there's a there's a lot of people uh, waiting there. Okay. So yeah, let's take a look at our expenses. Oh yeah, yeah, that loan took quite a bit out. Yeah. So that's so what I'm gonna do. Uh, I think that's about the end of this mission here. Uh, oh, one thing I should actually oh, forgot to note here. I, I did have some of these quests here that said basically, oh, build a line from these two locations, from over here to over there, and then uh, tra transport people. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to be working. It might be because all of the trams are actually supposed to be they're supposed to be using are just full. Like you see all those 60 out of 40s there. So again, um, I'm gonna have to just simply buy more trams. I think. Or invest in metros. If, if I build some metros, either underground or overground, I'm not too sure which one, then that should hopefully alleviate some of the pressure and then the trams will actually be, you know, maybe maybe still full, maybe like 40 out of 40 instead of 60 out of 40. So, yeah, I think that is pretty much it for this mission. So, again, I'll go over the game plan here. I'm going to let this mission run as far as I far as I can uh, to, well, should be I should be able to do it but uh, just to pay off all these loans here uh, then by the time we start mission 3 uh, there'll be I'll have no loans to pay off and I should be making tons of money uh, and then that should be enough money to for me to easily bought, build a new metro system or more lines or expanding into this uh, northern island there so yep 
that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you uh, next time.